Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to SSH on your Amazon EC2 instance from your Windows 10 machine. When it comes to Windows operating system, doing an SSH is quite a tedious process compared to other operating systems like Mac OS or Linux. Let me show you step by step on how to SSH on your Windows 10 machine. First you need to log into Amazon AWS and under the all service under the compute tab you can find EC2 or you can find it under recently visited service if you already visited EC2 so just click on that and here you can find an option launch instance select that one let me show you how to create an instance from the scratch and what is the files that you need to keep on your local machine to do an SSH so I will prefer Amazon Linux 2 AMI this option because it's eligible for free tier let me select this one and I will go with t2 micro type instance click on the next and if you want to do some changes in the storage you can click on the next or if you are fine with the default just click on next next or even you can click on the launch which you've seen previously so once you're done with all the six so once you're done with all these uh, six steps you can just click on the review and launch and finally click on the launch button and it will ask you to choose an existing pair so just select the option create a new pair and give a key pair name like a test or something or whatever key pair name that you want to provide to that particular instance you can just type the key pair name here and click on the download key pair and it will be downloaded to your local operating system and click on the launch instance and if you click on this AMI ID you can see the progress of the instance and the instance state is currently pending and it will take few minutes to spin up an instance so in the meanwhile uh, let's do some configuration on our Windows machine so go to the search tab and search for apps and future select the option apps and future and click on the optional features and you need to add two features one is open ssh client and another one is open ssh server by default this will not be added to this uh, windows 10 operating system and you need to go to this add a feature and under the optional feature list you can find it and you just just assume that this is a open SSH server and click on install so once you are done with the installation it will be automatically displayed under here so I already installed these two and that's why it's showing here so once you're done with these two things just close this window and if you see here the instance state is running and we have a test.pem file here so just select the instance by clicking on this checkbox and click on the connect option so this is a command that you need to paste it on the command prompt to do an SSH on your Amazon machine so just copy it and before executing this command you need to do some configuration on the pem file so let's copy the file and create any new folder let's name this as test i will put pem file under the test folder and you need to give access permission to this pem file so let me show you the command that you need to execute and these are all the command that you need to execute to change the security group of this pem file so let me show you what this command will do so now if you go to properties of this pem file under the security tab you can see that group or username who is having access to this test.pem file and once we are done with this command once we execute all these command the access property will get changed to execute this command you need to go to powershell so let me open a powershell so by default window operating system have powershell installed on your machine 
and you need to navigate to this path. That's it. We were on the D drive, another test folder. So let's start executing the command. And our PEM file is test.pem. So just change the name accordingly. Paste the command and click on enter. And you need to execute this command. So you can see that processed file is test.pem and the file is successfully processed. Now just go and execute the next command. And this is also successfully processed. And now execute the last command. And this one is also successfully processed. You can find all these command under the description. Now let me show you the security tab. So if you see here only one person is having access to this PEM file. So now we are good to go. Copy the command and go to the PEM file directory and from the address bar you need to type cmd. So if you do that you can see the current directory is set to this particular path. Otherwise, if you just open a command prompt from a search bar, it will show some default directory on your C drive. And you need to use a CD command to switch back to this particular location. Now we are in the D drive and test folder. Just paste the SSH command and click on enter. And it will ask you whether you want to continue. Just type S yes and click on enter once again. So now you can see that we successfully SSH into the Amazon EC2 instance. So you can see in which path you are on the SSH instance. We are on home EC2 user. And if you do LS, a ton of the files are there and whatever files that you want to transform or whatever manipulation you want to do on this SSH instance, you can do right away from your command prompt. So that's it. If you have any doubt, just drop your doubts in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.